Hello? Oh, hey, Julia. I was just on my way over. Anything I need to bring? Thai food? Wine? Batteries? <laughs> what do you mean, don't come? <sighs> Gee, do you really think your psychiatrist is the best judge of who you should sleep with? <laughs> well, sure, you could do better. We could both do better. <laughs> but in the meantime, I am on my way over. Okay, okay, need to stop you here. There is a big difference between meaningless and degrading. <laughs> You know what? I think we'll just have to agree to disagree. Okay, then. You have a nice life, too. <laughs> what do these women insist on getting well? <laughs> hey, Alan. Hang on, Charlie. This is an important moment, and I want to savor it. <laughs> Alan J. Harper. <laughs> What's the big deal? It's just an alimony check. An alimony check? This is my final alimony check. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, right. Judith is getting married this weekend. Exactly. And you know what that means? You can finally kick in a few bucks around here? <laughs> Good one. No. It means Alan gets new underwear. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go pick up my son and deliver this last drop of blood money to the former Mrs. Alan Harper and soon to be Mrs. Herb Melnick. May God have mercy on his soul. Amen. So, you want some company? You want to come with me? Yeah, why not? I don't have any plans. You got stood up again, didn't you? Alan came to live with me at my Malibu beach house when he lost his wife. It's a healing house. My wife isn't really dead. Because you healed. <laughs> At my Malibu beach house. And when you think about it, Harry isn't really dead either. He lives right here in all of us. Let go. It's good to let go. Charlie. Excuse me a moment. What? 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 Do you mean? What? 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 You're hitting on the widow. No, I'm consoling the widow. I won't start hitting on her till they close the lid. Unbelievable. How do you sleep at night? I'm usually drunk and on top of somebody. I gotta go. I love you. I'll see you soon. Come in. Hey. Hey. I was just gonna go to bed and I wanted to see if you needed anything. Towels, sheets, <laughs> vodka. No, I'm great, thanks. Alan got me totally gelled out with that adjustment. Man, you are so lucky to have him right here in this house. Yeah, I'm living a dream. <laughs> So listen, if you need to talk to somebody about, you know, anything, I'm here. I see that. Okay, then. Well. Hey, Charlie. Yeah? I think you're a really cool guy. Yeah? But I'm not gonna have sex with you. Ever. Good night, Charlie. Good night. Okay. Round one to the hot crazy chick. <laughs> Round two. Ding. <laughs> Morning, Frankie. Morning, Charlie. Morning. So, Frankie, boy, that is a pretty name. How'd you sleep? Right. Except, I had this wild, erotic dream, and I woke up all drenched in sweat. <laughs> Can you pass the syrup? 
Sure. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Sweetie, you're dull. Look, this is my life. I know what's best for me. Okay, Mr. Harper, why don't you jump up on the table, put your legs in the stirrups, and we'll get you shaved. Oh, damn. I didn't bring the camcorder. Thanks, Alan. I'll see you later. Yeah, good luck. Oh, uh, uh, don't forget to put a cone around his head so he doesn't bite at the stitches. In my defense, it's a little cold in here. <clears throat> Boy, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what's your name? Naomi. Let me ask you something, Naomi. Does doing this make you want to have dinner with me more or less? Just a reminder, Mr. Harper, I'm holding a razor to your genitals. I know, but how meat cute is this? What a great story to tell our... Our what? Never mind. Okay, all done. That was quick. You got a little mirror so I can check out the back? Not that little. Unbelievable. Let it go, Alan. Who goes in for a vasectomy and comes out with a date? What? I'm a man? She's a woman? A woman who, two minutes after you met her, was shaving your scrotum. Let me skip the head a little. Hey, you feeling any calmer, Uncle Charlie? What do you mean? When Scout had his operation, he got real calm. And he got fat and only wanted to sleep behind the dryer. Okay, uh, first of all, it's not the same operation. And second of all, I didn't even have it. So you're gonna have kids? Well, I don't know, maybe someday. I hope so, because you'd be a cool dad. Really? Mm-hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah. So you're, uh, you're not gonna have the vasectomy? Hey, I tried my best, but it just wasn't meant to be. What do you mean? Do you think it was a coincidence that my urologist was having a baby at the very moment I was about to get snipped? I mean, I'm not a particularly religious guy, but clearly a power much greater than myself wants me to knock somebody up someday. You called? Very well. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Harper, is it true that Jake saw a woman in the shower with you? Okay, uh, yes. <clears throat> now, in that instance, um, the door was closed. He didn't knock, and the door was closed. And, and, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> uh, a woman in the shower? Don't help them. <laughs> And most important, he didn't see anything inappropriate. Well, then, what can you tell us about this uh, picture that uh, Jake drew? <laughs> okay, now, that's a totally different... Whoa, man! Morning. Morning. What are you doing? Making my world-famous huevos rancheros for my brother and nephew. No kidding. What stupid thing did you do you're trying to make up for? <laughs> Why do you always just assume that... I slept with Jake's teacher. Oh, Charlie, did you learn nothing from the den mother fiasco? It's worse. The kid found out. What about your brother? He doesn't know yet. Oh, hey, you made breakfast. What's the occasion? No occasion, just trying to help out. Oh, well, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Good morning, Berta. Morning, you goofy, clueless bastard. <laughs> Nice to see her in a pleasant mood for a change. Yeah, sit down. Hmm. Have some huevos. Oh, gracias. <laughs> Fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh, you squeezed this? No, it says it on the can. 
Okay, what stupid thing did you do? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> funny thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I slept with Miss Pasternak. <laughs> Sean, what were you thinking? What, what if Jake finds out? Okay, um... <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. How? He woke up in the middle of the night and I... What, you brought her here? Did you learn nothing from the dead mother fiasco? <laughs> hey, I kept him from getting suspended. Oh, that's how? You're welcome. <laughs> Are you crazy? No, but I have a sneaking suspicion Miss Pasternak, maybe. What's that supposed to mean? Don't worry, I'll deal with it. Oh, that makes me feel much better. So, uh, how, did, how did Jake take it? Did, did he freak out? Not as much as you. <laughs> Saying he's fine. Um, Jake, do you want to talk about what you saw last night with uh, Uncle Charlie and Mrs. Pasternak? Oh, God, that really happened? <laughs> Good, Alan, way to go. Dad, can I be homeschooled? <laughs> Listen, Jake, don't worry. You go to school, don't say anything to anybody, I'll tell her I can't see her anymore and we'll all forget this ever happened. Nah, it's like Cub Scouts all over again. <laughs> what happened to my brother after you married him? Oh, well, we had a wonderful wedding and then we flew to Paris for our honeymoon. We were so happy, so animated. <sighs> uh -huh. We went up on the Eiffel Tower and went down on the Champs-Élysées. <sighs> Afterwards, we celebrated our love with a romantic candlelit dinner at the Ritz. <laughs> of course, I've always known Charlie was no saint, but I thought marriage would change him. I was wrong. So wrong. Disturbingly wrong. I ran from the room, determined to never see him again. Charlie! He finally caught up with me at the train station, but all I could think about was revenge. But at the last second, fate intervened. So I booked us a cruise home. We moved into a brand new house in Sherman Oaks. The good part, south of the boulevard, where we could live as a happy couple. Wait a minute. You bought a house with a dungeon? And a pit? Of course not. I had it remodeled. The permit process was just a nightmare. Next time, use my pit guy. He's the best. Continue. For the next four years, we were the happiest we'd ever been. I'd feed him, bathe him, and of course, there was endless, magical lovemaking. Then, a few days ago, the unthinkable happened. Somehow he managed to make a rope out of his bowling shirts and ran away, disappearing into the darkness. That's all, folks. Let me get this straight. She was his fifth grade teacher, and then she became a stripper because you dumped her, and now she's his tutor because you felt guilty. Pretty much. And you improved. You caught me at a weak moment. <laughs> well, who am I to judge? I almost traded one of my kids for a rotting lawnmower. I'm sorry, but I'm still confused. Oh, boy. Mm. OK. Um. Let's look at it this way. How about if you make $40 a dance? If you want to find out how much you can earn per hour, you have to solve for XD times 40, X being the number of dances you can do in an hour. What about tips? That's a variable. Oh, I get it. So the money you kick back to the house is the, the constant. <laughs> good for you. That's a good start. Yeah, it was. You make learning fun. <laughs> Where are you going? Take a shower. <laughs> So how'd it go? Oh, a little slow. Not exactly the quicker picker-upper. Well, that's why he needs you. He's kind of an idiot. 
Yeah, um, I wasn't gonna say anything, but wow. So we'll see you tomorrow then? Great. Hey, Charlie, thank you. For what? Well, you've given me back something I lost a long time ago. I gave it back? How did I give it back? My self-respect. Oh, sure, that you can get back. <laughs> And you haven't even tried to hit on me. No, and I don't intend to. I just want to see you get your life together again. Boy, I've hated you for so many years. I'm starting to think maybe I was wrong. No, 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 you were right. This is new for me. <laughs> well, I like this, Charlie. He's got a big heart. Thank you. Desiree, wait. Instead of going back to that motel, why don't you stay here? No strings, just until you can get a real apartment. Where would I sleep? You can have the guest room. Well, where would Alan sleep? If there was any justice, at the bottom of a ravine. <laughs> Man. I can't believe you gave her my room. I can't believe you're still calling it your room. How long is this gonna last? Just until she gets back on her feet. Oh, please, that's a load of crap. That's what I said to you six years ago. You've been here six years? I'll just go make up the couch. <laughs> Story of my life. Morning. 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 How'd everybody sleep? Fine. Fine. Lousy. <laughs> so listen, we might have a little problem with Miss Pasternak. Oh, Charlie, you didn't. No, I didn't. Why do you always believe the worst of me? because you're a horrible, evil person. I, I thought we established that. I'll tell you what happened. Last night, I was upstairs, sleeping alone, minding my own business. Good morning, sinners. <laughs> oh, what a glorious day to bask in the forgiveness of our Lord. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jake. I have wonderful news. From now on, as part of each lesson, we're going to spend time casting demons out of you. It's the devil that's making him stupid. <laughs> Told you it wasn't my fault. Uh, uh, Miss Pasternak, while I'm thrilled that you're helping Jake with his schoolwork, I'm not sure an exorcism is really called for. Do you want your son to go to hell, Alan? Depends. Do they have a college prep program? <laughs> Eternal damnation is no laughing matter. I know. I've been married twice. <laughs> you have to wear a jockstrap in hell? Yes, but not your own. Anyway, I just came down to tell you all it's time to get dressed for church. Uh, uh, gee, uh, thanks for the invite, but uh, Sunday is kind of our me day. Sunday's not a me day. It's a he day, and he will strike down the blasphemers and the disbelievers with fury and blood-soaked vengeance. So, chop, chop, washy, washy. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Boy, can I pick him. There's only a few reasons why an ex calls. One, they're doing great and want to rub your nose in it. Or two, they're doing lousy and need to borrow money. Or three, they've got money from knocking over a laundromat and want to hide under your trailer until the heat's off. <laughs> it happens. OK, OK, how about four, she misses you and wants to try again? What is it she's going to try? To change me into something I'm not? To get me to stop drinking, smoking, gambling? To rescue me from the barren, loveless abyss my life has become? <laughs> what? You know what I think? I think you were never happier than when you were with Mia. You still have feelings for her, and you're just afraid to admit it. You are so wrong. You couldn't be more wrong. Believe that guy? You want the truth? No, probably not. Good call. Oh, by the way, here's the 20 bucks I owe you. Mmm, tepid. 
So, London certainly agrees with you, Rose. You look beautiful. Thank you, Charlie. I just can't believe you're here. Yeah, well, I wanted you to know I've been thinking a lot about you lately, and I miss you. Oh, Charlie, I miss you, too. Are you seeing anybody? Actually, I am seeing someone, but I'm not really sure where it's going yet. <laughs> you? To be honest, there is one lady I've been dating. She's actually my own age. No. Yeah. But my therapist says she's not good for me. And you think I am? Well, you've always loved me for who I am instead of who I could be, which is really wonderful because, let's face it, we both love who I am. I do love you, Charlie. So? So, what? So, what's next? What do you mean? Well, you can't expect me to go back to what we had without a commitment. A commitment? Yes. I think we should get married. Married? Sell the house in Malibu and move to a kid-friendly neighborhood here in London. Kid? Kids. We're gonna have kids, aren't we? Good afternoon. Oh, Linda. Hi. Hi, Alan. I I'm, I'm sorry to show up unannounced, but Charlie hasn't been answering his cell phone, and I wanted to make sure he's okay. Oh, Charlie's fine. We have a pharmacy that delivers. What? Nothing, nothing. Come on in. Thanks. You should be getting up sometime soon anyway. So, uh, how are things with you and Donna? Good, good. Uh, I'll go get Charlie. Hey, Dad, girls volleyball, a lot of bouncing boobs. <laughs> Not now, Joe. You told me to tell you when they started. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Shut up. <laughs> oh, hey, hello. You must be Jake. Yeah, who are you? Linda, I I'm a friend of your Uncle Charlie's. Are you the judge? Uh-huh. Do you play volleyball? No. Do you? No, I just like to watch him jump up and down. Okay. Hi-ho. Go away. Uh, I thought Charlie was asleep, but he's not in his room. Uh, oh, Berta, have you seen Charlie? He's not in his bed? No. Passed out on the bathroom floor? No. Rubbing oil on the volleyball girls? No. Well, that just leaves the bars, hospitals, and jails. I'll go get the yellow pages. He couldn't have gone very far. Hey, Dad! Hot girl on the phone! What time is it? So what's the deal with your teacher? Miss Tuttle, she's very strict. That could work. <laughs> Did you see this drawing our son made? It's a cry for his parents to get back together. Alan, it's Davy Crockett at the Alamo. I know. Breaks your heart, doesn't it? I see you got your brother here. Oh, yeah, he wasn't thrilled about it, but he can't say no to Jake. And I kind of implied that Miss Tuttle was a bit of a freak. Excuse me? Hey, you wanted me to get him here? He's here. The rest is up to you. So come on. You gonna introduce me? What for? Well, she's your teacher. You're my nephew. I feel like, oh, come on, just do it. Don't you want to see my model of a California mission? It's made of sugar cubes. OK, first your mission, then mine. Um, may I have everyone's attention? Hello. I'm Judith Harper, the class mom. I just want to thank you all for coming. This is a great turnout. Give yourselves a hand. I understand your teachers are sadly underpaid. That's very true. Well, I'd like to do my part. Can I buy you dinner? So, please feel free to put your name on the sign-up sheets if you're available for carpools, coaching, field trips. Charlie Harper. Jake's uncle, mentor, pal. And finally, and this is a biggie, folks. It looks as if we're gonna have to cancel our annual music show for our fourth graders. 
Unless someone with music experience volunteers to help us out. Anyone? Anyone at all? Charlie? Yeah. Thank you. Charlie Harper, everyone. What? Okay, I'm just gonna go home and get some things. I'll be back in a little while. Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's really getting annoying. Do me a favor. Talk me through this. Excuse me? What's your strategy? Explain it to me, Lucy. Okay, a a admittedly, I may have overplayed my hand a little. A little? You're living with Lindsay, and you asked Melissa to move in here. Yeah, I gotta work on that. Um, so listen, when Melissa comes back, uh, make some sort of excuse. Oh, what, you mean like I was cruising Ventura Boulevard for an old shirtless hunchback? Yeah, not my finest moment. But you're experienced at that kind of thing. No, no, I'm experienced at promiscuity. This is polygamy. And frankly, I find it extremely distasteful. Oh, 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 this you find distasteful? The man who was asked to leave Bangkok for moral turpitude finds this distasteful? That was a misunderstanding. Mm. I had no idea it was an endangered species. Mm. God, I missed you. I missed you, too. <laughs> hey, Charlie. Hey. I know a guy. Ten grand, you'll never have to see Zippy again. Ten grand? Actually, he charges 500, but there's a finder's fee. Alan, dinner's on the table. Coming. You're a great cook, Mrs. McElroy. <laughs> Jake, I told you, call me Lindsay. Yes, ma'am. You are such a sweetie. You could learn something from him. Suck up. Suck up with a drumstick. I, uh, I noticed this old pipe on the mantel. It's a beauty. Oh, it was my grandfather's. Oh, wow. They don't make them like this anymore. Yeah. Hello, boys. How about a little orange juice with your dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Is he high? I wish. I love a man with a pipe. <laughs> you should get some tobacco for it. Your dad's going to smoke a dead guy's pipe. Yeah, well, at least he didn't get hair plugs and run off with my babysitter like your dad. Ow! Ow! Now, boys, behave yourselves, or I'll pull out my bu -bu -bu belt. Alan, sit down. Uh, white meat or dark meat? I'll take a bu -bu -bu breast. Is that supposed to be somebody? It's, uh, it's Bing Crosby. Oh. <laughs> Who? Bing Crosby, the black guy with the sweater used to have a TV show. That's Will Smith, dumbass. Huh. That was weird. Hey, Charlie. Oh, boy. It's nice, eating together as a family. It certainly is, Mother. <laughs> Maybe afterwards we can gather around the fireside and sing a song or two. Seriously, Alan, that's not funny anymore. <laughs> and don't call me Mother. Sorry. And in this house, we don't talk on the phone during dinner. Oh, right, yeah, uh, terrific rule, mm. but, uh, but I just have to take this. Hey, Charlie, what's up? Oh, oh she's there now? What? Well, what do you want me to do? We're all gonna die, Charlie. <laughs> no, 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 don't send her over here. Uh, no, I I'll be right there, just give me a minute. Okay, let me tell you something. This is now my house, too. If I wanna talk on the phone, I'm gonna talk on the phone. What's wrong with you? Don't you nag me, woman. Where are you going? I am going to take a drive and, and cool off. Mother. <laughs> Here, kitty kitty. He's probably hiding because he thinks you're mad at him. For God's sake, Chelsea, the cat doesn't think anything except maybe, mmm, fish, I'll eat it. <laughs> 
water, ooh, sand, all crap in it. You're wrong. He's very intelligent and very intuitive. He knows you resent him living here. Thank you, Chelsea, but I can defend myself. I was talking about my cat. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Mmm, fish, yum. Okay, I'm going to work. I feel better. Thanks. How's the shoulder? Oh, the shoulder's fine. I'm just hoping to get a little oh, poor Charlie tonight. <laughs> oh, poor Charlie? Yeah, you know. Oh, poor Charlie. I feel bad about your shoulder, so you just lie still while I provide you with a series of intense orgasms. Wow. I don't know what to say other than oink. Is that a car? Can I drive? Can I drive? Relax. It's just Chelsea going to work. Oh. Uncle Charlie, you need to go anywhere? Yeah. Away from you. All right, I'll drive you. You want to drive my $80,000 Mercedes? Yes, please. It's good that he's polite. It's a necessary quality in a doorman. Was that a yes or a no? That was a no. So the doorman thing was an insult? Yes. Oh. Gee, that's too bad, Jake. A sore throat and a runny nose? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I guess you should stay at your mom's this weekend. Gesundheit. tight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, feel better. Okay, bye-bye. Jake's sick? Nah, he's lying through his teeth. Probably has a party to go to or something. <laughs> or a hangover. Mm. Remember when he wanted to be around us? Remember when we wanted to be around him? <laughs> hey, that's my son you're talking about. But point taken. <laughs> so you're a free man for the weekend. What are your plans? I don't know, uh, probably just catch up on my reading, take a walk on the beach, you know, a little me time. What about you? Eh, pretty much the same. Except instead of reading and walking, I'm going on a date and hoping to get laid. <laughs> now, uh, when you say date, do you mean an actual date or one of your $2,500 date experiences? If I were paying $2,500, I wouldn't just be hoping to get laid. Mm. <laughs> so, you're back in the dating game. How'd you hook up? Was it a meet cute? Meet cute? You know, like, uh, like in the movies. I mean, she's carrying groceries, and you bump into her, and she spills them, and you try to help her pick them back up, and you bonk heads, and she's concerned she might have a concussion, so you tell her you're a doctor, and you keep up the ruse until after she's fallen in love with you, at which point you confess that you're not the man she thought you were, and she's furious and never wants to talk to you, but you go to her place of work, and you make a complete fool of yourself by declaring your undying love for her during an important business meeting. <laughs> Thankfully, the meeting is with Japanese bankers who find you charming. And they give her the big account, after which you scoop her into your arms and ask her to marry you, and you live happily ever after. In Portland. Um, no. She's a dermatologist who scooped a precancerous mole off my ass. Oh, well, that's cute, too. So, uh, what's her name? How old is she? Uh, her name's Michelle, and I'm guessing mid-30s. Ooh, almost age-appropriate. <laughs> oh, say, uh, if, if I took a picture of a strange wart on my toe, would you show it to her and ask if it's normal? <laughs> sure, I'll pull it out over dinner. <laughs> Come on, she's a dermatologist, and I have a hideous growth on my foot. The hideous growth on your foot is you. <laughs> you know what? I'll email you a JPEG. You'll know when the moment is right. This is Charlie. Yeah, hey, sorry to interrupt. I just came to pick up my snowboard stuff. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm going to Mammoth for a few days. With who? What do you care? I'm your mother. Should I go? No, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> who are you going with? His name's Jeremy. You happy? Jeremy? What happened to Sarah? Sarah and I broke up. <laughs> why are you going to tell me this? Mom, I'm 20 years old. My personal life is none of your business. <laughs> as long as you're my daughter, it's my business. Tell me about Jeremy. What's to tell? He's a nice guy. He's Sarah's roommate. Wait a minute. You broke up with Sarah so you could hook up with her roommate? Ugh, no, no. We were all hooking up together, but then Sarah got all weird, even though it was her idea. Don't you just hate that? <laughs> I 
Are you telling me that the three of you had sex together? Hey, you're the one who said I should explore my options in life. I was talking about grad school, not threesomes. <laughs> I'm so sorry you have to hear this. No, 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 it's fine. Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> I also need to borrow some money. Shauna, how do you expect to pay me back? I still have a job. A webcam in your bathroom and a PayPal account is not a job. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Morning. Charlie, right? Well, I guess it's too late to deny it. Would you like some coffee? I, sure. <laughs> I would. You have a beautiful house. Thank you. <laughs> so much. Oh, my name's Sandy. <laughs> yes, of course it is. How could I forget? Sandy, like the beach or the Koufax. Pardon me? You know, Sandy Koufax, great Dodger pitcher, Hall of Famer, never mind. So, Sandy, how'd you sleep? Uh, just fine. How about you? Great, like a drunk baby. Well, are you hungry? Not yet. Maybe after I throw up. What did you do last night? Actually, I was hoping you could fill me in. There's my little sandy beach. Good morning, Ellie. Oh, thank God. I was afraid I was going to have to quit drinking. Coming up next on Turner Classic Movies, The Bridges of Madison County. I'm not going to cry. Hey, what are you doing up? Watching a Clint Eastwood movie. <laughs> what are you doing up? Chelsea's sick. She was coughing and sneezing all over the place. Oh, no. Yeah, I had to wait till she finally fell asleep so I could get the hell out of there without pissing her off. I'll consider it. What do you want from me? I'm not a big phlegm fan. This isn't a Clint Eastwood movie. Yes, it is. Even Clint Eastwood doesn't think this is a Clint Eastwood movie. Well, tough. I like it. Sure you do. You're a giant fruit basket. I'll never apologize for my feminine side. Boy, I hope she gets better soon. This sick stuff is not what I signed on for. You're kidding, right? Th this is exactly what you signed on for. You told Chelsea you loved her. You gave her an engagement ring. This is what it's all about, being there for her no matter what, for richer or poorer, better or worse, in sickness and in health. Call me crazy, but I prefer richer, better, and health. <laughs> well, regardless, this could be a real opportunity for you. Opportunity for what, a massive infection? <laughs> an opportunity to show her that she can depend on you, that you're not just there for the good times. OK, I hear that. Tell me one thing. Yeah? What's in it for me? Watch Clinton Merrill. Learn how to love. I'll take my chances in the snot locker. I will not cry. It seems to me that it'd be more fair if everybody on both basketball teams was the same height. That's how it seems to you, huh? Yeah, like in boxing. Heavyweights fight heavyweights, lightweights fight lightweights. So, in your world, everybody on a basketball team would be, say, six foot five, and they'd only play other teams that were six foot five. Exactly. That way, no one would have an unfair advantage. Huh. That's very interesting. You really think so? No, but it's less likely to start a fight, and that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And yet you said it anyway. Listen, I've got to talk to you about something. Okay, dumb was a poor choice. It's not about that. Think I'll wait till halftime? No. <laughs> got to go to a funeral this weekend. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Who died? My ex-mother-in-law. I couldn't wait till halftime? Charlie. I'm just saying, she'll still be dead at halftime. I was very close to her, and I want to pay my respects. 
So I'm going to Santa Barbara, and I'll be spending the weekend with my ex-husband. Oh, okay. Define with. <laughs> do you just get up in the morning and figure out ways to make me crazy? Is that what you do? You, you plot it out? How, how can I make Alan miserable today? How can I reach into his chest, rip out his heart, and suck it dry? Mom or ex-wife? Ex-wife. Hi, Judith. Charlie says hello. She says hi. You're evil and selfish, you know that? No, no, I, I think that is a helpful comment. I pay you alimony and child support so that you can have a nice house, a nice car, every weekend free because I've got Jake. And yet, you're telling me you need a vacation? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? And what exactly is stressing you out, Judith? Is it the weekly manicure, the housekeeper? Boob lift. The boob lift. That you paid for. That I paid for. And never got to see. And never got to see. No, no, you listen to me. I think you live a damn fine lifestyle that I work 60 hours a week to support. So if anybody needs a vacation, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> um, Judith's going to Hawaii for a week. <laughs> so Jake's staying here. I'm shocked. <laughs> kind of like high school, huh? I never did this in high school. Really? Sex in a car? You, you kind of built for it. <laughs> oh, what the heck is this? Oh, well, Jake's retainer. He lost this years ago. This cost me like $500. Anyway. No, this is not working for me. You want another wine cooler? No, I want to be in a real bed. Well, what do you want me to do? You won't stay at Charlie's. How can I go back there after his fiance called me a tramp? Oh, come on. She didn't mean it. That was just heat of the moment when she found out you'd slept with Charlie. It doesn't bother you, does it? Well, yeah, yeah, a bit, you know, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> and I love you. No, not here. Uh, well, then where? I mean, I I'd be more than happy to go back to your place if you could just get past that little incident with your mother. Little incident? I caught you in bed with her. <sighs> Boy, you are just going to keep harping on that, aren't you? Why don't we just go to a hotel? Uh, well, we, we could, but wouldn't that feel kind of cheap? I'll tell you what feels kind of cheap. You. What are you doing? I'm getting out of here. What? what you're going to walk home? Oh, it's not far, Alan. You didn't want to waste the gas, remember? <laughs> Pardon me for being green. Oh, oh, come on, Melissa. Let's not ruin a beautiful evening. I already broke the seal on the condom. <laughs> all, all right, all right. All right. You win. You win. I'll take you to a cheap motel. <laughs> oh, great. Stand up and put your hands behind your head. Uh, I, I can explain this. Hands behind your head. This is not what it looks like. Uh, I, I was just chasing this girl who jumped out of my car. Oh. I, I can't help wondering how my life would have turned out if she hadn't have dumped me. Come on, your life turned out great. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have turned out any better. You know what? I'm gonna call her and find out why she broke my heart. Good thinking. Call your high school girlfriend drunk at two in the morning. While you're at it, why don't you expose yourself to an undercover policewoman? Some people do that. I need closure. I need to understand why she dumped me. What's to understand? This is her? Mm -hmm. This is you. Peaches and cream complexion. You. Cheerleader. You. Stop me anytime. I don't care. I got her number off the internet and I'm calling her. Oh, man. When are they going to invent a phone with a breathalyzer to lock? Shh, it's ringing. Hello? Hello? Is this, is this Charity? Uh, hi, Charity. This is Alan Harper. Yeah, yeah, from high school. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I know it's late. Yeah, I know I'm drunk. 
listen, I, I, I just need to ask you one question. Um, why did you dump me on the night before junior prom? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, thanks. Go back to sleep. She said to ask my brother Chuck. Early. Why? Uh, excuse me. Uh, do you know where Charlie is? Who's Charlie? <laughs> You in here? Hey, Alan! Long time no see. Say hello to my brother, Alan. Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. <laughs> Hi, Alan. Um, I'm interrupting. Gee, do you think? <laughs> uh, listen, I, I really need to talk to you. Can you come downstairs? Sure. Give me an hour and a half. An hour and a half? I know it's a little rushed, but we're on a tight schedule here. Tina's got homework, Cindy's got to meet her fiance, and Marie, well, Marie's on the clock. You already had two women in bed and you felt the need to call a professional? Better safe than sorry. I see, well, I guess I'll just wait downstairs. Good call, because you know, five's a crowd. <laughs> okay, does everybody remember their assignment? Uh-huh, yeah, I think so. Then let's do this thing. <laughs> Hour and a half on the dot. Can I plan or what? Hey, come on, show a little class. <laughs> so, how's the newlywed? Still living the dream? Well, I gotta tell you, buddy, things haven't been the same around here since you left. That's nice, but... Uh, yeah, they've been way better. <laughs> I mean, look around. had my second cup of coffee. Look, I don't know how long I've got. Neither do I. Oh, damn it. She's out. Out of what? Her freaking mind. Charlie, where are you? Oh, God, she's coming. Is your door locked? No, neither was my window. Two mistakes I will never make again. Charlie, are you in here? Oh, sorry, sorry, Alan. Have you seen Charlie? Bathtub. For God's sake, Alan, you're my brother. Oh, Charlie, is this how you act after everything I've done for you? Yes, this is how I act, playing Anne Frank in a bathtub. Well, I give up. I can't take care of you if you won't cooperate. Oh, no, no, Rose, let's, uh, let's not be hasty. It's been so nice these last couple of weeks. What if Charlie promises to behave himself? I am not promising Nurse Ratchet here anything. Well, then I guess I'll just leave. 
You're not leaving. I was bluffing. Rose. Darn. <laughs> I hope you are proud of yourself. All she was trying to do was help you. Alan. Wow. Oh, um, hey, hey, Lindsay. What are you doing here? Well, I've, I've left you a few messages since yesterday. I don't know if you got them. I did. Oh, uh, OK. Well, you look nice. Did someone die? I'm going out. Ooh, girl's not out? No. Oh. Did someone die? I have a date with Dr. Staven. Wait, Dr. Staven, your, your, your gynecologist? That's right. Is, is this about the other night? Because I said I was sorry. Look, if it'll make you feel better, you can lock me out and I'll pee in your bush. OK, that came out much worse than I meant it. OK, I have to get going. Are you mad at me? No. We just have different ideas of what a relationship should be. Well, then let's just sit down and talk about it. Nothing to talk about. Oh, yeah, right. Like a woman has ever done it. She's mad at me. They're hot when they're angry, aren't they? Oh, Jeez, you scared me. Little trouble in paradise? Oh, yeah, you know, relationships. Hey, you want to come across the street for a beer and talk about it? Oh, sure. Thanks. So, uh, what are you doing over here, anyway? Oh, just seeing if Lindsay's coming out for a 6.15 jog. Oh, you jog with her? No. Nope. Uh, you know, I don't think Judith's gonna be too happy to see me. Oh, don't worry, she's gone. <laughs> okay, when you say gone, do you mean she's traveling? Or is her head in that cooler? <laughs> she left me, Al. Oh my God, what happened? Yeah, I had a moment of weakness with my receptionist. Actually, 36 and a half moments of weakness. Uh, a half? Judith walked in during 37. <laughs> Herb, you know, how could you? This is my receptionist. I would have finished 37 while she was watching. <laughs> Man, uh, groom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Come on in. I've got some beer on ice and sports on ice. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, tonight's the finals of the pair's ice dancing. <laughs> hey, hilarious. Hey, you got to do this gay character in your best man toast. Uh, about that, you know, I'm, I'm not sure that I'm the right person to be your best man. I, I'll probably just end up drinking too much and getting yelled at by the bride and singing a tearful yet moving version of All By Myself. <laughs> at least that's what happened at my wedding. You're not getting cold feet, are you, buddy? Well, no, it's just that it's your special day. I mean, you sure that there isn't somebody more deserving to be your best man? A, a, a brother, a college roommate, someone who knows your last name? Yeah, you're right. There's nobody I'd rather stand with at that altar than you, Jeff. <sighs> Why do you have to be so darn sweet? Plus, I'm counting on you to help me out with the most important part of this wedding. Outfits. Outfit party. <laughs> I was thinking black tie. Sure, black girls, tie girls, whatever you want. Larry, where can I put this poop? Ooh, and who do we have here? This is my sister Gretchen. She just moved here. Gretchen, this is Jeff Strongman. Oh, yeah. Hey, from what I hear, I should call you Jeff Best Man. <laughs> oh, my God, that's what I said. Uh, so, where's your dog? in the garage trying to wipe his ass. <laughs> now I couldn't find the trash. It's out back. I got it. You can tell I love her because I take a lot of crap from her. Get it? <laughs> crap. And he's mom's favorite. <laughs> I hear ya. Uh, uh, luckily, my brother's dead. So, uh, you, you just moved here? Yeah, my brother's letting me crash here. I told him it was just for a couple days, but between you and me, it's a pretty sweet deal. Huh, I should try that. Part of me thinks I should just stay here till he dies. Why stop there? Why not move in with the next guy who buys the house? <laughs> so, uh, what do you do? I'm a vet. I moved out here to run an animal shelter. Oh, so that tasteful sports bra covers a tender heart. Well, the puppies at the shelter aren't the only ones that need support. <laughs> well, I'd, uh, I'd love to meet your furry little friend. Oh. I mean, I'm talking about the dog. <laughs> not that I don't want to meet... Never mind. Uh, so you run a shelter. Yeah, I've always had a soft spot for strays that no one else wanted to take in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you ask him if he wants to go to the movies with us? No. Why not? 
Because he's a ticking time bomb, and we don't want to be in the car with him when he goes off. Come on, he's breaking my heart. Staying home all alone on a Friday night. Don't worry. You know how they say you can be alone but not lonely? Yeah. Well, Alan's kind of the opposite. He's always lonely, but he's never alone. He's going through a tough time. Your brother should be surrounded by friends and family. My brother should be surrounded by a SWAT team. Please, for me. Chelsea, we agreed that you only get one of those a month. Are you sure you want to waste it on Alan? Thanks for letting me tag along with you. This is really sweet. We're thrilled you could join us. Right, Charlie? Yippee, skippy. So have we picked a movie yet? Nope. Would you like to see La Poubelle Le Fromage at the New Art? <laughs> Would I? <laughs> Who are you calling would I? Big ears. Now, Danny, watch your mouth. Why? Yours is the one that's moving. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee, skippy. So, what's up? Ow! Nipple! I am so mad at you. Why? Because I I'm with Larry now. He's smart, handsome, successful. God, you have a type. No. When I'm with him, I can't stop fantasizing about you. <laughs> okay, I I I'm confused. I'm getting a chubby, but I'm confused. So, you want to get back together? Oh, God, no. I just want to have sex with you. Why? And why am I asking? I don't know. I just know that I do. Of course. <laughs> Forbidden fruit is so much sweeter. Go on, pluck my forbidden fruit. Pop my cherry. Peel my banana. Squeeze my fuzzy peaches. You know, fantasy? Yeah? You don't talk. Bye, Walden. Bye, Lindsay. Um, is it hot in here, or did I just have sex? Did you guys get back together? Better. She wants nothing from me except the old Harper harpoon. Wha-bam! <laughs> know what I'm saying? How is it possible that you're having sex and I'm not? Wow. Yeah. That was incredible. More than incredible, it was... Transcendental. This is where I was always meant to be, Rose. Right here in your arms. I'm so glad to hear you say that, Charlie. Now get out. So soon? Manny will be home any minute. But I want to cuddle. Home. You want us to get caught? This isn't fair. Two of us sneaking around so we can spend an hour together. Well, what can I do? I have a husband. Let's go away for the weekend. Just the two of us. Where? I don't care. Some place where we can walk down the street holding hands, where we can laugh together, play together, yell at the top of our lungs and not care who hears us. So Disneyland? <laughs> uh, I was thinking more in terms of someplace with liquor, but... That's Manny's car. I didn't hear anything. It's a Prius. <laughs> Just think about it, okay? A romantic weekend with nothing for us to do. Make love and be together. And, you know, drink. <laughs> Yay! After all these years, I finally get a weekend with Charlie. <laughs> Did you hear that, Abby? <laughs> Up top. What's funny? Rose is at a dinner party with her husband and she's sexting me from under the table. Sexting? It's like regular texting, but, you know, dirty. You see? That's not a smiley face. Charming. Um, listen, I, I need to talk to you about something. Yeah, sure, what's up? Oh, you bad girl. <laughs> uh, you know that money you gave to me to invest in my business? Yeah, what about it? Well, here's the thing. I, I, I know I said I was gonna buy advertising. Oh, I almost but... forgot. I told Rose about how well you're doing for me, and now she wants in. She does? Oh, yeah, and she's loaded, too. 
Huh. So what do you want to talk about? Um... <laughs> Just that we're making money up the wazoo. <laughs> so you're going to need a bigger wazoo. <laughs> That's great. Morning. Oh, Zippy. Like it wasn't easy enough before. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to understand European chic. Looks more like European on a power line. <laughs> nice. Hey, tell me about that girl last night. Uh, well, she's a vegetarian. Uh, yeah? And her husband's a vegetable. <laughs> what? She's married, and, and the guy's like 900 years old. You're kidding. She hot? Yeah. He rich? Mm-hmm. Checks out. <laughs> So how old is this guy? Uh, well, let me put it this way. He was one of the original investors in Apple, the fruit. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry it didn't work out. No, it worked out. <laughs> you didn't. What do you want from me? He was in a coma and she was in a teddy. No, I'm you surprised. I thought you had more integrity than that. Where in the hell have you been? <laughs> Man. You know what? You know what? Uh, can we just stop for a second? What's wrong? You don't know me well, but I happen to be a man of great integrity. <laughs> and it's hard for me to do this knowing your husband is right next door. You want me to put him in a cab for a couple hours? <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to help. Look, I know I'm technically taken, but you have to understand Victor was 80 when I married him. And now, 12 years later, he's still alive, and we're both using machines to get us through the night. Well, how did you two even meet? I was on a pole. He was in a wheelchair. Our eyes met, and when I turned right side up, I knew he was the one. That's, that's very romantic. I can't expect you to understand what it's like to rely on someone to put a roof over your head and provide you with the luxurious life you deserve. Oh, my God, we're soulmates. <laughs> Great house. Oh, wow. You're right on the beach. I've got to go for a swim. <laughs> She's taking her clothes off. Yeah. Is this a great country or what? Hey, Dad, here's a Charlie. Hey, guys. Rose, what are you doing? We're playing mummy on a chair. I'm the mummy. Judith, hi. Is Jake ready to go? Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, Jake, your mom's here. Uh, Charlie, why don't you go out on the deck and keep an eye out for approaching squalls. I'm on it. It's squall season. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. Uh, what is he doing? He's playing mummy on a chair. Well, where's the chair? I don't know the rules, Judith. Hey, Rose. Thanks for babysitting. Oh, no problem. We had fun. Good. So who's the naked lady? I'm not really sure. She was trashing a car with a baseball bat when we left the dentist's office, and, you know, one thing kind of led to another. So you met cute. That's nice. But, you know, you may want to be careful with a girl like that, Charlie. One day it's baseball bats and windshields. The next day you wake up with your testicles super glued to your thigh. Point taken. I'm sorry about that, by the way. Water under the bridge. <laughs> Hurry up, Jake. Your mother's waiting. Remember, I'm bringing him back tomorrow night so I can see my parents. Why is there a woman's shoe on your floor? Uh, well, um, uh, apparently, uh, uh, mommy on a chair is a very complex game. Hi, Dad. See you, pal. Tell your brother he's a pig. I'll leave a note on the fridge. God, I needed 
that. Me too. It's like all my insanity and rage have just been washed away. That's good, because you know all your drugs are on the coast highway. So where can I take a nice hot shower? I said where, not with whom. Men, 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 manly men.